Before starting the video, I would like to thank our sponsor that is Asus Mobi Unlock. It's a all-in-one tool to unlock any kind of iOS screen lock whether you have a disabled screen, passcode screen, touch ID, face ID, 4 digit or 6 digit pin. So you can unlock any kind of iOS screen lock very easily. So links in the description you can check out the tool from there. First you need to connect your device. After that you will require the IPSW file of your device or you can manually select it if you have already downloaded that. After that just click on start unlock. You can easily unlock your any kind of screen lock. So if you guys are interested in this tool you can check out the website and buying option of the tool they are having the discount coupon running on the website so you can apply it and get some good discount. Alright now let's continue today's topic and the video. So in this video I will show you how you can activate the unable to activate device or a broken best band device to the home screen and you can easily access the device with the unthreaded way. Unthreaded way means if you reboot the device it will not come on the unable to activate screen again that means you can easily bypass the complete screen and it's gonna be completely free method that means you don't have to pay anything to anyone so it's gonna be completely free and easy way to unlock your device with a unable to activate screen or a broken baseband screen if you guys don't know that this unable to activate screen or a broken baseband screen come with a hardware damage of the broken baseband IC so if you want a permanent solution with calls and everything go for the hardware repair but that cost you more but in this video I will show you a simple and the easy way with the software method you can easily skip the screen with a free method so it's very easy so I will show you the complete step like how you can do that and which devices are supported and which is not so do not skip the video and watch it till the end if you see on the three tools the i may show you n.a that is null and if you try to flash it it will still show you the i may is null that means the device is the broken baseband the i may is not showing so if you are not sure about the device is broken baseband or not just flash it with a quick flash mode and see the i may is showing or not if it's not shown that means that it's a broken baseband device and if it's showing the IMA, that means the device is normal and try to reactivate again and that will work. Now the step number one, you have to jailbreak your device with the check range jailbreak windows method or you can use the Mac or Linux. So I've already made so many videos on the check range jailbreak windows method with the latest ISO that is the 0.12.4. So you will get all the links in the description blog link. First you need to flash your device with the USB stick and make the USB bootable. So with the help of the Rufus tool you can easily do that and you have to select your partition screen whether you have a GPT or a MBR and just simply flash it. Now after importing the ISO file you need to click on flash and it will make the USB bootable. After that close the Rufus tool and you need to reboot the PC. Now you need to select your pendrive from the BIOS so that we can directly boot it from. Now you will see the check range 0.12.4 and it support the iOS 12 to the latest iOS 14.7.1. I have already made the video on the latest jailbreak so you can watch that. Now the device is currently on the unable to activate screen. Now just connect it. Now the check range jailbreak support iPhone 5s to iPhone X. A7 chips to A11 chips so you can jailbreak all the check range jailbreak supported models and you can use this method only with that. Now currently I'm running on the latest 14.7.1 so you need to allow the first option that is allow untested iOS option and for the A11 device like iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X you need to allow the skip A11 BPR check. If you don't know how to jailbreak the iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X you can follow this video in that I have shown each and every step. Now put your device into DFU mode and follow the instruction on the screen and that's all you are ready to jailbreak your device. If you face any kind of error in the jailbreak just try to restart your device and try it again and then it will surely work. Now the device is jailbroken successfully and is still on the unable to activate screen. Now we need to go to the windows machine again to solve this issue. Now to reboot your PC you need to quit the checkrun app and just type the reboot and hit on enter and unplug your USB stick and you are back on over your windows machine. Now to solve this issue in free way, we will use the FRP2 latest version currently 2.6. If in the future the new version will come you can use that too. Now first thing you have to disable your antivirus protection and windows defender so that the bypass tool will work properly as sometimes some antivirus detect this bypass tool as a virus but it's completely safe so you can easily disable your antivirus and then extract it. First it will ask you the password, the password is FRP file. Now after you extract the tool you have to just open the folder and click on the frp.exe file. 
now at the very first time your device is saying it's not register so click on the register process and it's completely free you need to just enter your serial number you can copy within the tool after that click on submit and your device will be completely register for free now disconnect the device and connect it back so that the registration process will get refresh after that you will see your device is registered now the next thing you have to select the bypass broken baseband option from the tool and make sure your devices stay connected with the wi-fi and the stay on the unable to activate screen now wait for it to get complete it will take around one to two minutes to complete the process so just don't disconnect your device stay on the screen Now in the middle of the process it will ask you to trust your device so you have to unlock your device and hit on trust and just click on ok and if the trust button is not away on the device just ignore it just click on ok and it will proceed. Now once the bypass is completed you will see ok just click on ok and your device will be automatically on. If you find any error just re break it again and use the tool. Now you will see your device is successfully activated and you can see the check in loader on your home screen. If your device find my status is on it will bypass the device if the find my status is off that is ok it will still work. Now you can see everything is working. Now I will show you how you can change that network logo or any kind of symbol on the network bar. You can change it to any name you want or you can just click on the backspace button and just change the status name. It will come by the default and there is no symbol or name on the network bar. So it's up to you if you want to change the name you can change it otherwise it's okay it will still work. Now after the respring your device will again on and this time you can see the symbol is gone the status bar is completely empty so that's how you can use this tool and solve the unable to activate screen or a broken baseband device very easily and it's a completely untethered method so if you reboot the device it will on again and work like a normal device. Now the limitation of this process is that your network or sim will not work as it's a broken baseband device and the damage of the baseband IC it's a hardware fault so you have to go for the hardware repair for the complete services otherwise for the software method the only solution is this but to fix the i services like iCloud login I will make another video to fix that until then you can use this method so till then goodbye take care and peace out.